Hey guys, it's your boy Lemming Rush. Today we're gonna to be doing another How to Pad Win 8 video. Now, this is gonna be a follow up to my previous video where I was in the 907 on Himmelsdorf, uh, and I basically just sort of drove into them and did 7k damage. Uh, this is gonna be very, very similar, and the reason I'm doing this again is because of all the comments that I got on my previous video. So, uh, the majority of people, it felt like, anyways, felt uh, like you could not pad Win 8 or be aggressively when you're uh, in anything but a Russian medium. Basically, they felt that Russian mediums were overpowered, and uh, if you were to try this in a Leopard 1, you'd just get wrecked. So what I did is, after reading the comments, I went and played the Leopard 1 to see if they were true, and uh, first game in this vehicle, I land up on Siegfried Line in a 13v13. Now, what you're gonna notice is, on Siegfried Line, it's a very committal map. The way this map works is if you're to push anywhere, for example, where I am here, it's, uh, you can't run away. So what I did on this map is I waited for my teammates to get into position. It's very normal for you to go here and not have support, so I just made sure I had like teammates with me, uh, and then I just rushed straight into here. Now you're gonna notice I'm being very aggressive. The IS-3 is as well, and uh, I'm not able to pen a flash. No. <laughs> it's sort of embarrassing, but I'm gonna look into tanks.gg after this and figure it out, but you're gonna see I end up bouncing two off of him, and it could have been a lot more damage for me if I hadn't. So you can see I try to pen him, and then I give up. So uh, in this case, what's gonna happen is I'm in a Leopard 1, we're on Siegfried line, and, and the way this map works a lot of the times is people will try to poke where the T-54 is, and this position gets very, very good shots on it. Now, in a Leopard, when you don't really have armor, you just have hit points, you can still be aggressive, you just sort of have to shoot people when they're looking away, or... Uh, if they're reloading or if they're stunned, things like that will give you opportunities to shoot people. Here you can see I'm shooting on an ST1, um, STB1. I'm still front lines, but they're sort of poking onto me and giving me free damage. The IS-7 pushes up, almost blocks my shot, but luckily I was able to hit. Now, you're going to notice, even though I'm in a Leopard, I'm going to constantly be pushing up. This is really important because if your team does well, uh, you're not going to get damage. In this case, the actual game looks like we're going to lose at a certain point in time. You can see we're already down a tier 9 tank, but uh, me being aggressive sort of helps us win in the sense that I'm able to consistently get more damage, uh, and, and just aggressive play in general is going to increase your damage and your win rate. So you're going to see that happening here. Nias 3 shoots, the Leopard 1 has absolutely stunning accuracy. I managed to track him and do no damage. You're going to notice I'm going to continue to poke onto them, and here I'm going to be using my hit points to do some damage. So I take a shot into the Is 3, he, uh, I expected him to pen me, he doesn't, but then the 54 pokes, so I repair it. Uh, and this is basically just brawling in the Leopard 1. Now the 54 gives me his track. Um, I was trying to pen it, that bounce, obviously it happens. And uh, I'm not going to push onto these guys. Now the reason I'm not going to push any further onto these guys is because the way this map works, regardless of what tank you're in, uh, people love to camp in, in the sense that if I were to, especially in a 15v15, which is what I'm used to playing, if I were to like aggressively YOLO into them, a lot of the times there's going to be campers back here, especially in encounter because that's sort of where they spawn. You're going to see I'm going to make an aggressive play and I can sort of get away with that because of who's lit and whatnot, but I'm not going to push into the IS-3's location when they've got people field and like I said, it's very common for people to camp at K7. Sometimes what you'll find, you'll, you can see I'm just shooting stuff, it's because I wasn't getting shot back at. It was a risk, I didn't get killed for it, and so I'm going to keep abusing uh, the position that they've given to me. You can see Artie says uh, stop camping, and uh, you know I'm going to soon learn to stop camping. So you can see I'm falling back. Uh, that's because I'm sort of worried about the Fosh. Obviously, I sort of put myself into a crossfire. When you're pushing into a crossfire, if no one's looking at you, it's not a crossfire yet. So you can see the Fosh started to back up. I started to back up. I focused on the Fosh. Now I'm no longer in a crossfire. Now this, <laughs> this is what I mean. Like any tank can do this. You don't have to be in some OP Russian 907 medium. Uh, everyone, well, a lot of the commenters missed the point of this video. This is pure aggressive gameplay. I'm playing the front lines this entire time. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm trying to use my hit points. Unfortunately, they don't shoot me as much as I would have liked, but at the same time, I'm just shooting my gun constantly. This is going to win you games, especially when you're in a tier 10 tank, uh, because if you're in a top tier medium, you can't be sniping, even if, uh, you know, famous YouTuber says the Leopard is a sniping tank and has great accuracy. So, this is my experiences with this tank. I mean, the game is sort of over. You'll notice they don't have a 57 lit, so what I did is, when I poked this, I noticed I didn't get shot, so when I was poking F8, I wasn't getting shot at. That tells me the 57 isn't on the zero line, right? Like, if I had taken a hit from the 57, 
I would have known where he was. But normally people will shoot at you when they when you give them the opportunity to. So there's no 57 on the zero line. I expected him to be at K7, K8 area. Um, you can see so does the SC101. I don't know why he pinged that, but I think he was guessing where the 57 heavy was as well. Uh, he's AFK, and I'm just going to go farm the AFK again because uh, aggression, when you're aggressive, it sort of lets you do that. So you can see I'm just doing that right here. The arty ends up dying. I guess that's what the, the guy was talking about. <laughs> the arty at K8, but it doesn't really matter. I'm able to turn this into a, a nearly 7k damage game, and that's the result. Alrighty, so as you can see, I mean, this wasn't really a complicated game. Obviously, we spawned over here. Uh, the majority of my damage came from playing the middle here. Now, in a Leopard, um, the the common, you know, famous white YouTuber meta, I guess, is to snipe, right? That's what apparently top tier mediums should be doing, but you just can't be doing that so you're going to notice i was playing really really aggressively i wasn't able to use my armor but you know it's a leopard one you're not going to be able to use your armor but you can still get away with being extremely aggressive now this position let me farm the guys here farm the guys here and then i moved up and you know continued to farm the guys on this ramp obviously i was being relatively careful of the guys back here but when i sort of um wanted more damage i took a risk and i poked this position now that's a risk if the 57 had shot me i would have found something else to do but he was afk so i was able to you know take advantage of that situation Alrighty, so i want to talk about this i didn't really get the chance to cover it while i was recording the video but this is the point in time where i sort of uh make the effort to secure the battle for our team now you're going to notice i see the fosh he's over here i see him turning to yolo the su 101 uh, and I want to, I feel like our team is dying around me. You know, this game was sort of, uh, it's easy to see the tipping point, but you're going to notice when I make this move, I'm able to start killing off their one shots. Uh, even though the score is tied, it's going to be very easy to turn it around. So you can see um, while I'm poking this, I'm looking for the easy kills and that's going to give our team a huge advantage. You can see we're up one kill right now. Uh, we have a lot of one shots. They have a lot of HP and I'm just going to be doing my best to try to kill tanks. Now this is a huge thing. If you're trying to win more games, you want to be killing the easiest tanks to kill. Don't like, if you see a mouse and there's like four other tier eights around him, kill off the four tier eights because focusing down the mouse lets the four other tier eights continue to to use their gun it's it's basically focus fire but uh, in pubs you want to be shooting the lowest hp and trying to get as many frags as you can so i feel like this play right here had a lot of impact on our game because i ended up killing uh two of their tanks and we have a ton of one shots you can see this guy's a one shot this guy's a one shot and then we have two people out of position uh and these guys are, are relatively low hp so if you're a tier 10 tank sometimes you need to take the initiative and just shoot stuff uh, and, and I feel like that's sort of like the tipping point. So if you're trying to figure out when games are, are won and lost, I feel like that's, uh, you know, the, the play I made helped us win significantly. So I just thought I'd point it out. Obviously, I'm not taking credit entirely for the win. I'm just pointing out how I impacted it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope to see you around. Later, guys. Bye-bye.